friends welcome back to my youtube channel so this video is going to be in english so uh, this video is going to be the same video which i have posted last week uh, on hiv breakthrough treatment that will be in tamil this video is going to be in english uh, the thing is i got few uh, comments uh, personally as well as in the comment box telling they want me to repeat the same video in english version so i'm just putting it in a for based on the request of the viewers i'm just re again remaking the videos in english version but you are seeing my channel first time so please go uh, click the subscribe button and if you want to see the same video in in, uh, in tamil i've given the link in the description box you can just click it and watch it okay so today's topic is going to be hiv treatment there's a new treatment that have come uh, that have been started Uh, coming in into the medical field to treat people suffering from hiv we all know hiv is one of the most serious conditions where people suffer till date and it is an immuno it will compromise your immune system immune system is one of the best warrior that our body has to fight against all the diseases that is all, for every disease for every even a minute reaction our body will fight for it because only because of our immune system but the hiv will go affect the immune system so it is completely collapsing our own body's immune mechanism and or else i can say fighting mechanism so this kind of the serious infection is being treated for such a long time with a standardized drug therapy all we know is art therapy that is antiretroviral therapy treatment drugs are meant only for people who suffering from hiv it, the drug especially will not cure hiv it will not completely remove the uh, virus load from the blood it will just reduce the virus load and as well as it will improve your immune system so that we will be able to fight our uh, antigens the basic uh, that was a basic drawback till date uh, hiv is not been completely cured like other diseases like for example even for covid or for fever or any other thing we have come kind of particular drug or any kind of a vaccine to come across the infection and we would say okay the completely the ne covid negative because after uh, 14 days of quarantine and having all those courses of drug after immunization we are telling uh, we are telling the patient is completely negative because the patient swab doesn't have uh, covid uh, anti antigens the same situation is not possible in uh, hiv but they have made this statement uh, into account and now a new treatment has come into existence so this treatment is not generalizable to the public they have been tried only in very particular group of people and till date only 3 people have been completely cured from hiv cure is completely different from treating a patient cure is the patient blood doesn't have any kind of hiv virus into it so that that statements brings the word called as cure right so basically this treatment had been performed in three people and uh, two men and one woman have been cured uh, we are going to speak about the women's case in this video because the women has been treated with a donor stem cell with the donor has been an hiv resistant donor so his stem cells has been taken and transplanted into the women's body after her chemotherapy and the thing is the woman has already been suffering from leukemia so she's already been immunocompromised as well as hiv positive patient has been treated with a donor stem cells uh, and after uh, uh, after a long follow up and after a 14 months of follow up even after uh, stopping her uh, art therapies that is her uh, regular hiv medications has been uh, has been stopped after the stem cell therapy to check whether this patient has been completely getting cured from uh, this uh, this uh, stem cell the stem cell therapy finally after 14 months they this again took the blood screening and the blood screening showed this women is completely cured from hiv because her blood doesn't have any kind of hiv viral load so that statement made a biggest breakthrough in recent medical field i would say but this treatment is not generalizable to all public because see it is a the stem cell transplant is very very sensitive and specialized one because stems if uh, if you are not aware of stem cell i can just tell you one thing these stem cells are nothing but these cells are present in everybody every human's body and they would they have their specialized kind of cells where when you are going to place them in a particular environment feed them with proper nutrients they can grow into any kind of a tissue what we expect so that's the most specialized thing about stem cells 
I think I have already spoken about this in uh, one of the dental stem cells video. If you are not sure of this, I will just give the video in the description box. Please go click it uh, so that you will know about stem, stem cells. So coming back to our topic, so these stem cells are very specialized and specific, really sensitive. So it varies from people to people. So it is not like paracetamol or or like any kind of a normal uh, like a steroids where when we give a particular drug to a large group of people, all almost everybody will have same kind of results. But that is not possible in stem cell therapy. So it is this treatment is in a growing phase. So it needs to go a long way. So let's all hope for the best. So till date. It's really a great thing that uh, we have uh, developed a treatment that can cure at least three people completely from HIV. And uh, I would add an additional information like HIV vaccines have not come into existence till date, even though there have been a lot of research have been going on for HIV vaccines, but still all were like ended up in some kind of uh, a failure because this virus has a it keeps on changing its shape so it's really difficult to get a vaccine that is universally acceptable that everybody gets uh, kind of immunized from that so that's the main challenge but still now recently there is one vaccine that's been going on in the phase one trial so we hope that crosses all the clinical trials and comes to general public so i hope I have uh, made this information a bit clear and even though if you have any kind of comments you please post in the comments box so that I can give more information based on your uh, comments. Okay. Thank you so much for watching my video so uh, if you like my video please do like share subscribe my channel and if you have any kind of comments please post in the comments box. So I'll see you in the next interesting video so until then it's bye from me Sneha. Tada! Have a nice day.